Hello everyone, just took a delivery of the Kingbridge Kayaks Selfish model, uh, pedal drive kayak, in blue, why the orange, but you know, kind of everything, it wasn't available. Um, I'm going to open it up in time lapse, just because no one wants to see me uh, taking a little stuff off in real time, and we'll see what we uh, what we got underneath all the wrapping. Right then, let's have a look at what we got. It's unwrapped. Um, quite a big kayak, but it's quite shallow. It's no deeper than, it's probably shallower than the mine that I put when I have. It looks quite flat on the bottom, which I don't particularly like. Right, let's have a look at the general. Of it. It's quite a big I said it's quite a big kayak, it's quite, it's quite hard to get it all in uh, in the frame. So let's see what we got then. I suppose this is the rudder thing, the rudder control. Um, this is the forward hatch. I wonder what was in there because there's no pictures on their site of what's in this one. Right then. Um, oh, that's the rod holder. Uh, the two handles. You got like um an internal internal caddy. All right, and it, yeah, straight into the hole. So, but I mean, that's, that's quite sturdy. I'll put the handles on in a minute. Let's put it all back in here a second. Yeah, you've got a nice rubber seal around here. And it's like a locking mechanism on the. which seems to lock quite well. Let's see. We have the seat. Which I shall sort out in a minute. Oh, this is obviously the pedal drive. In the box, I'll sort out in a minute. Standard paddle. Right, and what have we got here? Um, the bungee there. See what we got in this hatch. Oh, actually comes with a tackle box. That's quite a cool feature. Little tackle box. Like a Tupperware thing. Yeah, that ain't bad at all. I think I might put this on a tripod actually so we can see what's going on properly. This is where I wish I had a GoPro, not a cheap flipping camera. Anyway, yeah. Just pop that back in there a minute. Again, the, the hatch has a rubber seal around this side. And locks on a cam system, seems quite good. I suppose these are for the seats. Well, that's my rudder system. I shall have a go with a drain plug. I'll take you underneath. Let's see what's underneath. I don't know what that is. Maybe that is a transducer hole. That's not mentioned in the spec. We'll have a look at that in a bit. Anyway, let's put some bits and pieces together and then uh, bring you back then. I'll just go actually, I'll just look around this side of the, the hole. scratching on it. Check it now. I thought you meant to put them on yourself. Yeah, a few deep scratches. 
right, as I said, let me put some bits and pieces together and then bring you back. Okay, I'm just going to do a time lapse in a minute, but I've just put a rudder in, it works fine. Same thing, you secure it with this thing, let it go, and then you control it with this. Um, to be fair, it looks a lot better than the, um, the original one they had on it. Um, yeah, pretty cool really. Right, let's put some other bits and pieces on. I'm going to put it on time lapse again. And we can uh, watch put it together in time lapse really. All right. Right, I've put it all together now. Um, it all seems to work. The rudder only goes up vertical, it doesn't actually, I show you actually. There's a string here you have to pull to get it to get it up like that. I mean that's as far as it's gonna go. So it's gonna be sticking up in the air. Um, it doesn't fall back forward like it shows in uh, in the pictures, unless I'm doing something wrong. Um, but yeah, it, it goes down easy enough. It says that, it doesn't go down. Like that. Lock off. Um, we go around to the control again. This is the control, and yeah, it does a, a fair bit of movement. I can imagine that will spin you around pretty quick, hopefully, not too quick. Um, the pedal drive seems pretty good actually. The, I mean, the, the box is smashed to pieces when I got it, but um, shape of it, but there we are. But everything seems okay it works I was a bit concerned about my short little legs not being uh, long enough but as you can see you've got adjustments you can uh, you can adjust it in different fittings so you get it nearer farther away I mean work quite well. You know, I'll only tell you know, only bit of testing when I'm out on the water. Um, obviously you have to take it out when you're um, before when you're when you're launching. Um, I'd like to have seen a place we could have clipped it off really just to in case you have an accident tipping the boat as you get in you're gonna lose the pedal drive aren't you? And if you're launching in the deep water you're um totally knacker. Um, it comes with a blanking plate if you want to paddle only. Um, 
the rod holder is on, it's on like a sort of star mount system. So, I mean, it looks quite, it looks quite sturdy. Uh, the seats in there. I'm not sure how long these are going to last. Um, might be okay. And as standard, you got uh, the rod holders for them. Um, scupper plugs. I never use these. I take them straight out. The one I won't be taking out though, which I'm a little bit apprehensive about, is this one here. Now, I go straight into the hole. And I know there's a transducer um, thing down there, but to be fair, I think I should be a CT1 in this one in. Uh, that's just a water ingress point. Something I didn't really want. Um, I am going to take that transducer thing off in a minute and uh, see what's going on with that. Obviously, you've got your paddle park here. Um, but overall, yeah, I mean. Until I get out of the water, I won't be able to tell. But it, it looks, it looks the business. So it just looks a little bit flat. But um, I'm not going to put an uh, anchor trolley in it until I've done sea trials in it. I'm going to do. I'm going to when I get a chance. I'm going to go down and do um, a bit of drifting off of beer. I think for bass and whatever else is about. And then and check the stability of it really. But yeah, it just seems. It does seem nice kayak. I mean, it's, there's. There's a good thickness to it, so um, but uh, it is 12 foot long, and I got to get on top of my little car yet. So we'll see what happens. But yeah, at the moment I'm quite happy with it. I said just want to sort that 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 um, scupper hole out, which is meant to be a scupper hole. You know, if you if people pull all the plugs out like I normally do, and the other kayaks like those out there. I mean, all the plugs are out of them. I mean, you can get yourself in a bit of a pickle. So, I think I'm going to have a look at that transducer for a minute. Anyway, all right, thanks for watching. Now, I did forget to mention, you have actually got spare straps and spare fins for the, the pedal drive. So, um, yeah. Said. I tell you one thing I will be doing now, I will be uh, getting the old Loctite out in a minute and uh, redoing the screws with the, with the Loctite because, yeah, I've got a. Uh, they do seem to work quite loose in um, in previous kayaks. So, anyway, thanks for watching.